Well, hello everybody. Welcome to this week's webinar. Really pleased that you can make it on board today and we've got a really special guest from the other side of the world to build your way through to director and beyond. Now what I'd really love to do is welcome someone that I met at the Relive 25 International Conference and I was so inspired when I saw a workshop that she was involved in when she was presenting on stage and that is Presidential Bronze Ambassador from France and the UK Caroline Laboria. Caroline, welcome to our webinar here on the other side of the world. Hi Bernie, I'm very excited to be part of uh, this webinar today. <laughs> well, thank you Caroline. Everyone's going to be very excited to be listening to you. There's been so much since the International Conference, there's been so much that's been said about you and people have been so impressed just by what you presented in uh, that workshop. It was really, really inspiring. I know I came away from that workshop really inspired and absolutely determined to get Caroline Laboria to do a webinar for us here in the Asia Pacific region. <laughs> Thank you. And Caroline, look, what I thought I'd do is just ask you some questions and first up, and I'm sure everybody would love to know, what's your story and why you joined Relive? Yes, I would love to share about that, Bernie. Um, well, seven years ago, um, I reached a stage in my life where I couldn't cope with my job anymore. I worked for over 10 years in um, advertising and publishing. I had a great job, actually, uh, but I, I couldn't cope with the pressure uh, in the company anymore. I couldn't cope with the lack of respect anymore, the lack of ethics sometimes that I could see. And more than anything, maybe, I wanted to do something with a purpose in my life. So I was really looking for something different. And um, a friend of mine, actually a neighbor uh, in, in the United States, where I lived for a few years, uh, told me about Relive, and I instantly liked it. I saw a way for me to um, start a new career uh, without any financial risk. So I, I started the product and the business pretty much at the same time. And um, I could only work very part-time the first year, probably four hours a week. But I enjoyed so much what I was doing, and I saw so much potential that I decided to go full-time. And the year after, I moved to France, which is my home country, and uh, there was nothing there, absolutely nothing. Um, and we started everything from scratch, and I, I, talked about, I, I will talk about it in a few minutes. But basically, seven years later, um, it, it's really the best decision I've ever made because I have an amazing quality of life. Right now, I am in the southwest of France um, in a beautiful house surrounded by sunflowers. I work from there every morning. Um, next week, uh, I will go back to the UK where I live. I do work when I want. I have no one to tell me what I should be doing. I really found a purpose in, in you know, what I do with Relief because every day I help people getting results on these products. Every day I work with um, distributors that want to build their own business. This is very gratifying. My income averages um, you know, uh, anything between six to 7,000 pounds a month, which is about um, I would say probably nine thousand, ten thousand dollars a month, U.S. dollars, and I just absolutely love what I do. I'm looking forward to the future with Relive. There's so much going on with the company now, and I'm just extremely proud to be part of, uh, you know, the largest food science company. And I, I am convinced. I know that we are to nutrition what um, Microsoft has been to the computer industry. We are writing a page right now, and I'm just so excited about that. So that's really my story, Bernie. Wow, that's a great story. I love it. And actually, I love your analogy that Relive is like uh, Microsoft is to the computing business because I agree with you. And the other thing that you said that I think is so important for people is to have a purpose in life. And so many people wander around aimlessly, and they, they don't know what to do. And and they have no structure that they follow. And I know that uh, my next question to you, obviously, is going to be how you built your business. But in related to that is that I know that you've actually used the Relive Success system. And here in this part of the world, we've focused on the system, integra integrating it with technology because of the vast distances that we have to travel and the, and the different countries that are involved. And there's a lot of 
cross pollination across the countries. And you know, I'd really love you to share with us just how you built your business and what part the success system played in that. Oh yes, uh, I mean the success system is, is very important. I knew that from the beginning because from watching very successful people in the United States, I know the only way we could succeed in France was to re-implement the same system. And just to give you an idea, um, a few years ago there were only two boys on the product roughly in France. They were the two sons of my two best friends. Today they are over half a million US dollars in sales every month in France. And I'm not saying this to brag because it's like a teamwork of everyone sharing release every day with a new family, with a new um, husband who's tired of not seeing his family every evening. Uh, it's just an incredible dynamic that has been created. But um, the, the really what helped everyone to stay on the right track was the system. And what we did is um, we did everything um, one step at a time. We started a Monday night call like what, you, what we have right now, a webinar sort of, uh, with just three stories. My story in French, my best friend's story, and my upline who speaks French. Um, and it was just three stories, but then it grew to four, to five, and now we have new stories every Monday. Um, then, you know, as we started sponsoring master affiliates, uh, we had a group of 10 people in Paris. We started to do home meetings every Tuesday in a living room. And then it grew to the point where we could not fit into the living room anymore. So we looked for a hotel um, meeting room where we could, you know, have a larger meetings. Um, and as we started growing throughout France, um, we felt the need to use technology to be able to reach out to more people. Um, so we started broadcasting um, the Saturday training on a webinar live and also the Tuesday night meeting on a webinar live. And this way we were able to reach out to a lot more people um, and, and expose a lot more people to relief, to our tools, to the way we work, to the results people get throughout the world. So it, it really helped us um, build quicker because we could reach out to a lot more people. And I, I truly believe that today technology can serve um, you know, our real businesses in a great way if it's, if it's used wisely. What I mean by that is we're still a people business. We need to talk to people you know, over the phone or meet them in person because it's about creating relationships of trust, of fun, and this can only be done through personal contact. So I am convinced that we still need to have um, you know, very good contact with people over the phone or meeting them in person to be able to create those boundings. But technology will help us reach out to more people or to people that don't live in our area. and. What we've done too, that I believe that was instrumental in growing a lot of um, activity in France, is to help new leaders um, step up and open their own foundation city in France. And the way we did it is um, every Saturday morning we had those you know very active distributors uh, listening to the Saturday training online through the webinar. And once you know they hit those key director levels, or once they reach you know the the right amount of experience, and actually they were excited, they decided to open their own area and their own meetings. And what we did is, as uplines um, and and other ambassadors in France did that, many leaders did that. We flew to their area. We worked with them for a few days. We launched their area and we really got them on track. And this is how we set up a few very strong foundation cities in France uh, with using technology but still using contact, uh, you know, direct contact with people. I am a true believer that if you invest time in people, you know, this is what will help you build a big and very solid organization. So it's really amazing of both um, system, strong system, um, 
three way calls. We also use our conference, all these tools, but also use the technology to reach out to a lot more people. And then um, I, I believe that, you know, like anywhere else, it's all about opening your mouth and taking the ego out. Don't be afraid to get a no. Just be excited and share relief every day with new people. That's what we that's what's really going to build your business. So that's what we, we did, Bernie, um, you know, during a, f a few years, and that's how Relief took off in France. And that's how it will take off in any new area or any area, really, because it's about excitement and talking to people, um, using the system and the t technology, and this works synergistically, just like the products, I guess. Okay, so what you're really saying is that uh that the system and technology work hand in hand with absolutely seamless synchronicity and that we can still have relationships with people face to face and one to one and still have bums on seats but integrate technology successfully with it. Yes, that's what we did, that, that's what we did in France um, but it's, it, we still need to take time to listen to people. Um, you cannot, I, I don't believe you can succeed by asking somebody to listen to a webinar and then don't follow up with them. You need to follow up with people, understand their needs, and help them achieve what they want. Uh, and, and by doing this, you will build a very successful business. Okay, and so, you know, obviously, you, you said something then that is really, the, I think, the crux to the business, and that is that to talk to people every day. And do you know, do you find that there's a secret to that? Is there something people should be doing it? Is there a secret handshake? Or is it very simply just, as you said, being excited and, and spreading the word? Um, I don't think there's a secret. There's just determination, probably. When you know what you have a hold of with Relief, whether it's the products, how they can affect people's um, well-being, or whether it's the business opportunity, um, you're just excited to talk to new people because you know how much it could help them. And what I like to do is always give examples of what I do every day and I will share with you how I um, share relief with the two people, one this morning and one last night. <clears throat> Sorry, um, I picked a flyer at a local shop um, in my little village in the south of France of a yoga teacher who was teaching in English so I was very intrigued because we're in France. And I called her this morning and I said, well, listen, I know you are interested in um, health and well-being and uh, I work for a great company and um, uh, we, we help people with nutrition and we have a great business opportunity around it. Uh, would you be interested in meeting so that we can see how we can work uh, together? And she said, yes, I'll be very interested in knowing more. Um, so, you know, just by paying attention to who is around you, flyers, anything is good to meet new people. Um, one of the top leaders in France, she found, she found a flyer on her windshield um, in a parking lot. And um, she was looking for a change in her professional life. So when she found the flyer, you know, it was the right time and the right person. So there's no good way or bad way um, to approach people. Um, it's something you're going to do spontaneously with your heart and um, and your excitement. And um, yesterday I met somebody in a shop um, and I we, we just started talking about actually um, her children because she was there with her children. And um, you know, we, we just started talking very casually and I ended up asking her, do you work? And she said, no. And I said, would you like to work? Would you be interested in working? And she said, I would love to, but I, I can't find anything right now. And I said, listen, I have a business opportunity for you. I don't know if, if you would be interested or not, but I work for a company, and we're doing really good right now. And uh, when can we meet? And I immediately booked an appointment with her to talk to her um, today, actually, this afternoon, because you constantly want to be in action as well. Um, if you talk to somebody new, you, you, if the person is interested in about hearing more, you need to set up an appointment very quickly in the next 48 hours to keep the excitement going. But yeah, talking to new people is really key to move your business forward. It's the only thing that is going to move your business forward, actually. So it's, there's no secret. It's just about getting 
being interested in others, asking questions. What do you do? Do you like it? Where do you see yourself in 10 years? What would be your dream job? Um, those questions people will answer. And this is how you will find your entry point for relief. This is where you will know how to share relief because you will have found the need for it. Okay, um, that's uh, that's incredibly interesting because you, you, you hit on so many points there. And one thing that really jumped out at me was you said there's no good way and there's no bad way to actually approach people or introduce people to the business. And so how many different ways would you have tried over the years and do you still try lots of different ways when it comes to approaching people? Oh, yes. And actually, um, you know, I try flyers, I try ads, I try contact when I meet people in shops that I really like. I think they're dynamic or they're very smiling or you can see they're bringing you a great service. I just talk to them. I said, listen, um, do you like your job? Um, would you be open to something else? Um, so it's, it's, I think every, every way is a good way. I have, I'm a member of a couple uh, social networks where I had really good contacts as well. And when I'm saying that there's no bad way, um, I, I think I shared at conference one of the last master affiliates that, that broke um, in, in my group uh, actually was somebody who was a referral and she just wanted the product for her son. And I was in a hurry that day when I did the presentation and I didn't have the time to share the real opportunity. And I always do share, at least, you know, we have a great business opportunity around these products. If you want to hear more, we can talk about it. But I didn't have time. And for two weeks, so I did everything wrong. <laughs> Even, you know, after seven years in Relive, I did everything wrong. And after two weeks, um, over the phone, she really shared with me that she was looking for home business opportunity around products that she really liked. And I saw a wave from her to tell me, can you tell me more about the business? And actually, she was so shy for two weeks, she didn't dare to ask me, um, are you, uh, you know, is your company recruiting or how does it work? And because she had no clue how it really works because I never shared it with her. So that was another good lesson for me um, because after seven years, you can still, you know, maybe sometimes not do it the right way. But if you have the right person in front of you, they will find their way to um, get started in the business or even on the products. So just share as much as you can every day, um, anyway, and you will find the right people. It's funny because there's an old saying that says you can't say the wrong thing to the right person, so that sounds just about right for that story. Yes, yes, that's, that's very true, that's very true. Now, Carolyn, if you gave one piece of advice to distributors, what do you think it would be? Just one major piece of advice. Well, I would I would give two. <laughs> You're allowed to. Really, <laughs> the first one will be a short sentence. Um, when you start with Relief, just be very humble and accept to work with your upline, with your team of support for a few weeks so that they can really show you how to do this business. Even though you're very good at what you do today or even though you have a lot of experience in another area, the real business is different and you need to know, you need to learn about how to do it. It's very simple, but it will just take a little bit of time to know how to do this business. And the second thing will be um, just Listen to people and accept um, their needs. Meet them where they are. If you share relief, you will see that many people at the beginning will say no to the business. They will say, I might be interested in the products or I would like to start my mom on the products, but I am not interested. Don't get discouraged because what you will see is many times people will just get a better understanding of what really it is, or they will see results uh, on their family member and they will change their minds. And I will give you just a few examples about what I'm saying. Terry Renton, who is one of the top ambassador in this company, um, when he was introduced to really first he said no to the business, but he wanted to get his dad started on the products because he was a diabetic. So you see 
you know, he first he said no, but eventually he's one of the top earners in this company. Um, if you talk about Tom Moody, um, one of the first distributors with Beatty, he said no to the business many times. He was not interested. He was 25 years old. He, he didn't want to be um, a real estate distributor. But then he saw the potential of the business. He saw um, what was going on with the product, and he changed his mind. So your job is just to talk to people, share the real estate story, ask for their opinion. What do you think? Where do you see yourself? And if people just want to be a customer or want to start their parents on the product and are not even interested themselves, it's a great decision because all along the way they might change their mind, actually they will very often, and they might turn into your best distributor. So just take people where they are and help them get what they want and you will build an incredible business because it will ba be based on what people expect and want. Uh, so it's a very, very solid um, uh, foundation for your business because you will help, truly help people in what they need. So that's really my advice. Just take people where they are and help them in what they want. That's really great advice and it really leads me, listening to you speak then, really leads me to my last question for you and that is, uh, why do you believe that Relive is the place to be? Well, Relive is, a, is an incredible company today because first we are, uh, you know, the, at the cutting edge with our products. Uh, they are second to none and everyone needs them on the planet. Not everyone will take them but Everyone needs them. So we have a huge potential, you know, with these products to help a lot of people. The second thing is, um, you know, um, um, the um, Ryan Montgomery and Scott Montgomery and Steve Hastings and, and Brad Hastings, all this new generation of corporate leaders are really um, taking on the leadership of um, what Bob and Sandy created, and they are building an incredibly ethical and solid company. Uh, so we will go very, very far with Billy if we know that. So it's just an amazing um, company to be involved in right now. And I would say also that wherever you go, whatever the country is, we every day we meet people that hate their job. They would love to change jobs. They would like to do a job with a sense of purpose. Um, some people. Um, live far away from their family for work purposes. So many people are looking for a change in their professional life that they are open to relive. And I will give you one figure. I was reading the other day in a French uh, newspaper, um, the equivalent of Times Magazine maybe, that 75% of the um, um, people in Paris would love to change their job and have a better quality of life, and they are ready for a total change of career. Now, Paris is millions of people. Can you imagine if you were just getting, you know, as a French distributor, half a, even not one percent of this, but half a percent of this? It would be huge, and this applies to anywhere. I am sure that in Australia, in New Zealand, in Asia, people are struggling with their lives and their jobs or their health. So they're, and they are ready for a change. This is why Relive is uh, the place to be right now because we are part of a changing world where people are open to something different and we have somebody, uh, we have a product, sorry, that everybody needs. So same thing, if you combine incredible products with incredible business opportunity with perfect timing economy-wise, you have an explosive synergy of success. So this is what you guys have enhanced today. Um, if I can get this one message out, you have an incredible way with Relief to get control of your life, uh, get control of your finance, of your health, and it's going to be your decision to build this business, stay focused, stay determined, not to stop if you have a couple no's, just move on and be excited to share Relief. Carolyn, that's uh, you know that is just the the perfect answer, really. Uh, you know, thank you so much for that. It's uh, I find it quite inspiring, and I'm sure our distributors listening to this webinar 
finding it in, inspiring as well. And you know, I couldn't agree with you more. And I think that Relive is an amazing company, and uh, we really offer hope to people. And just listening to you, I know that uh, that it comes from your heart and everything that you do. And I really want to thank you for taking your time out because you are on the other side of the world. You have no, there's no financial uh, benefit to you to be spending your time talking to us today. And I really appreciate it, and I know that all of our distributors in Asia Pacific appreciate it because you know just the generosity of you and the generosity of other people, and the and I think that's a big part of this company. And just thank you so much. It's just been wonderful talking to you today, and I know that our distributors are going to get so much out of it. Carolyn, thank you so much. You're welcome, Ben. Benny, I was honoured to be on this webinar. Thank you very much for inviting me. You're welcome, and I hope we get you back on again soon.